When you're considering a private mortgage, you have to be careful. It can be seductive, a quick, easy solution. There's not going to be a lot of hoops to jump through and it's going to solve your problem immediately. But you have to be careful because private mortgages are generally speaking, extremely expensive. They have fees. You often have to pay the lender's legal costs and they are very expensive. So I want to dive into when is a private mortgage the right solution and when is it a choice you should just avoid? So ultimately the benefit to a private mortgage is that they will lend you funds or money when others won't. So when the banks declined you, you've got no options, there's an issue with the property, the turnaround time is just too fast, a private loan can be great because it can bridge that gap or solve that problem. But the only time you should be using a private mortgage is when either it is being used to make money and the profit justifies the risk and you have a clear exit strategy of how you're going to move past that private stage, whether it's selling the property, doing a, a burr or buy, renovate, rent and refinance, there has to be some sort of exit strategy to get out of this private. So for the investors, it's easy. Will you make money off the deal? Is there some way that you can move it forward by either selling or refinancing? The other situation though that I wanna to touch on is when people are in distress. So if you're considering a private mortgage because it's a solution to something bad you're dealing with, your home is a faulty roof, you have to replace it, you're an investor and your properties are cash flowing negative, any version of something bad that the private loan is getting you a temporary reprieve from, you need to have to ask yourself, will this solve my problem or will this simply buy me more time? Now, if the private loan will solve the problem, then you have to ask yourself, what is my exit strategy to deal with this private mortgage? Is it an amount of debt that I can pay it off in six to 12 months? Can I pay it off with an unsecured line of credit, refinance? Do I have an inheritance coming? Can I sell another asset? Those are all great, but where you have to be careful and where people get caught is when it's an emotional decision and there's not a clear exit strategy. So if you've got an investment portfolio, you're losing $2,000 a month, you just need that private money to get five more months and the market will be better. You really, really need to be careful because if it doesn't work, you're digging yourself a deeper hole. And the problem is with private lenders is once time's up and they want their money back, they will foreclose on you. They will start to force the decision or force you to move forward in a way that you may not want. And the exit strategy of I will deal with the first private lender by getting a new private lender is very difficult. One thing that you may not know is that private lenders get extremely nervous when they're paying out another private mortgage because they know they're generally a plan B solution and they're not sustainable. Typically speaking, when a private loan needs to be paid out by another private loan, it means something went wrong or there's a detachment from reality and a client is not accepting that their situation is not sustainable and they're just buying time. So ultimately, if you want to use a private mortgage to solve some sort of problem short term and you have a clear access strategy or you're using it to get a better purchase price, a great investment, it can be a good fit. But if you're simply using a private loan to buy time and there's not a clear exit strategy, you have to be really, really careful and make sure the people you're working with are going to look out for you because many times it just doesn't make sense. And I know it feels good to just get three or six or 12 more months. But as an example, if you're in a situation where you can't afford your home, a private mortgage is not going to change that unless your, your employment's going to change or something drastic is going to change in your life. If you can't count on that, all a private mortgage is going to do is make it so that you have even less when you sell your home. It can be the difference of do you recover in 6 to 12 months or does it take 6 to 12 years? So if you need any help or guidance, feel free to reach out. Happy to help you through the process. But be really careful with private lending because it is extremely expensive and it can really screw up your financial future if it's not used correctly. Mm -hmm.